What's happening, everybody? This is a video on um, me ruining Vic's career. Um, me and Eagles fan for life was um commenting on my other video on why I believe that Nick Foles is still a future, and I'll post that as a um response video for y'all to see and click to sit and view it. But um, here's the thing: we um the O line pretty much ruined Vic's career, and Andy Reid multi did the damage. Um. Don't get me wrong, O line is good, but we got four fifths, of, four fifths of our O line is out. So we have five O linemen, we have four of that fifth missing, and the only one remaining right now is Evan Mathis, and they just right now they just put back in Danny Watkins. So, um, but it doesn't really matter now because Vic's not playing; it's basically Nick Foles in for the, at the home. So, um, how, how do you expect um, this pros and cons of every position in football, as in being in every style of it? The being pocket pocket passes is not all it's not all fine and dandy and candy. I mean, you got it's pros and, and pros and cons of being a pocket passer, and there's pros and cons of being a scrambling quarterback. Being a scrambling quarterback, all it takes is one good clean shot for somebody to take at you and deliver a hard ass hit. And pocket passing, all it all it really takes is giving if you're given enough time to get that ball off, that's all good. But if you have a bad all line, you're a pocket passer, you, you're going to get hit and sacked all game. And you won't have a play where <clears throat> you're not going to get touched. You're going to be touched all game if you got a bad all line. But, um, oh, that's pretty much it. But, um, it's supposed to cause anything. I mean, if, I, if, if, if the O line's going to play like this and not protect Vic, then why not, why not just cut the man, get, give the man his guaranteed money, and, um, let him be on his way and play, play, continue his career somewhere else. A concussion is nothing to take lightly, <clears throat> and um, what's the man the best? I mean, I would hate to see him go, cause we all, if you if you can see if you see what Vic did does with the O line, you'd be surprised. You you want to keep him here? Vic is just is scary when he has an O line. I mean, he may not be the same way when he was like 24 years old playing with the Falcons, and running, and gunning it, but um, <clears throat> he still got that speed and talent. I mean, Vic may be aged as of now. I mean, he's not that old. He's 32 years old, but um, he still he got he still got the same style. He can still he can still do it. He's not that he's not that old where he can't do the same thing anymore. Where he got to hang it up. But if you have enough injuries in your career, then it is time to hang it up. But when you're a pocket passer, you got to have enough time to get rid of that ball and make the right and make your reads at the right time. If you don't, you have to, if you don't have a good old line. You're not going to be protected. Then you pretty much your help is enough. You can do. You're going to get hit all game. You're going to be on your butt all game. It's pretty much pointless. Pointless trying to make that read because you're going to be because basically you're going to be running for your life all game. <clears throat> Somebody please tell me a time where you see Tom Brady. Where you seen Tom Brady? Great quarterbacks like Tom Brady and um. Peyton Manning running for their lives. <clears throat> I'm sure they had a couple, a few times in their career if somebody, because if somebody missed the um, missing the or blew an assignment off, but that's pretty, that pretty much be it. Them linemen make mistakes because they're, because they're human, not because they probably, probably because they're not, probably because they don't know what they're doing, but they make mistakes because, they, because they're human. Well, no, that's that. There's pros and cons of every style and position. Peace out, that's it.